Hi, my name is Dr. John DeYard. I'm going to talk to you today about our true nature. Aristotle coined the term eudaimonic, which means true nature. Many have tried to describe our eudaimonic or true nature. In one study, they actually measured the difference between eudaimonic giving, which is giving without an expectation to get anything in return, and hedonistic giving, where you give with uh, the hope that it makes you feel good. And they found that when you give hedonistically, it actually doesn't have a positive effect on the human genome. But when you actually give eudaimonically, which is giving without a concern for the outcome, it actually has a powerful effect on our human genome in a positive way. So the question is, what is our true nature? And, you know, years ago, I couldn't sit here and say that our true nature is love. But now there's some pretty good science to suggest that that is, in fact, the case. You know, this article I like to call Be Good for Goodness Sake. You know, many of us are being good because, you know, we were trained that if we're good, good things happen. If we're bad, bad things happen. We get punished. We don't get our allowance. We get grounded. Uh, there's a God-fearing sort of thing where we have to be good, otherwise bad things happen. Well, there's more to it than that. I think that we are naturally good. In fact, naturally, you could say our true nature is love. We now have pretty good science, really good science. In fact, this says when you meditate um, and contemplate on love and kindness, the chromosomal caps on your telomeres lengthen, which means that you live longer and healthier. Uh, there's good science to suggest that when you love and give and care, oxytocin, which is the loving, giving, bonding hormone, is produced in a powerful way. We also know that when you, when you give and love and care, that the microbiology changes dramatically. When the microbes are under a lot of stress, they, good microbes kind of disappear and the bad microbes proliferate. When you take the, the fecal matter out of an anxious mouse and put it into a calm mouse, the calm mouse gets anxious and vice versa. So by, by allowing us to, to experience the world in what Ayurveda called a sattvic way, a, whole, a wholesome, loving, giving, kind, joyful way, it actually has a powerful effect on our microbiology. It has a powerful effect on our telomeres, the length of our telomeres, and the production of this hormone called oxytocin, which is the hormone that's linked to longevity and optimal health. We also know that epigenetically, that what you see, what you experience, what you feel, uh, what's happening in your environment directly affects your genetic code. It affects the receptors of the oxytocin, which they, you could call the love hormone, that um, is it supports optimal health and longevity and actually allows allows those hormones to either produce you know in a positive in, in a in a prolific way under positive stress and positive experience of sattvic world and just the opposite we're under huge amounts of stress clearly we are wired to handle stress clearly we are wired to fight to survive if nas is necessary but that doesn't define define who we are our true nature absolutely seems to be more related to loving and giving and joy and kindness. So I make the case that that actually is our true nature. And to, to live in a sattvic world, which is what Ayurveda predicted thousands of years ago would deliver optimal health, is who we truly are. And when we think about our world, and as we're beginning to discover scientifically that the most subtle things are the most powerful, something Ayurveda predicted thousands of years ago, it makes good sense for us to start thinking about what we're exposing ourselves to. To be good for goodness sake means to be good because it's your true nature to be good. Because if left alone, that's who we are. Yes, we can fight, we can, we can survive, the species can survive. But at the end of the day, it's love, giving, and kindness that provokes our evolution. Please read this pretty compelling article where I, where I go through the, the research that suggests that, in fact, our true nature may just be love. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Beard. Hi, did you like this video? Do you like our content here at Life Spa? You can subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash John Beard right here and get this valuable content every week in your inbox. This recording is brought to you by Life Spa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science.
get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.